In this section, we will introduce the Lambda architecture. Lambda architecture is providing a solution to the problem of combining a real time with batch data. Here is how Lambda architecture works. On the left hand side, we have incoming data. This set of incoming data is going to be split. It is going to be fed to the upper part, which we call the event layer or a speed layer. And this is where we will typically use our stream processing architecture and we will be processing real time data. The data is being processed in real time and we are creating a view on what we can calculate based on a relatively small fragment of real time data. In the lower part of this diagram, we see that the data is coming in and it is typically appended to the master data set that we have for the batch layer. That can be, for example, done by appending the data in the HDFS. Periodically, we are going to run our batch update. For example, we can run Hadoop MapReduce and based on the master data set that includes a large volume of data and all of our historical data, we are going to create a view. We call this a batch view and we are going to place it into the serving layer. What we do in this area is to create some rolling values that we will then combine with what we see as the real time update. So we will merge the results of our batch processing with the real time insight. And typically we will be storing that into some database that will be used for reading from our applications. And we are going to run the queries on this database, which is then going to provide us a combined insight of the batch processing and of the real time data stream. For example, HBase could be a good store for that purpose, but we have also some specialized stored for these tasks. A Lambda architecture provides us with the combined solution so we can process real time and batch data together. This is a big advantage of the Lambda architecture. However, there are some problems. One of the problems in implementing Lambda architecture is that we have a functionality that exists in the event layer and a similar functionality exists in the batch layer. If you are using systems like Storm and Hadoop, you will need to use two different programming environments to implement your jobs. Once as a streaming job, the second time as a MapReduce job. And that is cumbersome and requires duplication of effort. A newer programming system as Apache Spark and Apache Flink would enable us to have the same or very similar code for both layers. And that would significantly improve the productivity in implementing the Lambda architecture.